Okay, looks like the last section for this. Uh, when it comes to bones, we're really just thinking about how bones form and how they break. And we've already talked about stress and strain and how stress causes strain. Uh, stress is a force per unit area. A force over an area. That is our stress, so F over A will cause a strain and we uh, the strain is the deformation of the solid how is it deformed mathematically we describe it in this way we say that the force per unit area causes a delta L over L so if we're looking at this in in one dimension we would say well we have some object it has a length L and then if you apply a force per unit area to it then that's going to cause it to increase to a length L plus delta L. All right, so this distance would be delta L. Uh, stress causes strain. I want you to know that the stress causes strain. And this is how we describe it mathematically. You're not going to have to calculate it, but I want you to understand that that's what happens. Uh, bone mass density measures the strength of bones. Usually, peak bone density for a person is in their 20s. And osteoporosis, uh, bone density is reduced and more susceptible to breakage. All right, that's it for bones. And that's it for chapter two. It's a great chapter.